Okay, welcome back. This is part six? Yeah, part six, I think. Let's go make a bomb. As I said in the last video, we need uh, jellyfish juice, which we already got before. I and mean, I need to get it again, but we know where it is. We need the gum base, and we need charcoal. And then I can give it to that crazy Darlick in the power room, and he will supposedly make a bomb for me. Now, Ooh, there's a treasure chest over there. Let's see if I can get a little boost. There we go. I don't remember this part. I wonder if there's something up there. But if there is, I can't get it as of yet. Can, however, get this. Alright, I don't remember finding that before. And I don't remember this door being here. That'll be something to look into later. What? Explosives? Yeah, that could work. So you're collecting the materials. Wait, did you say gum base? Hold on a sec. Here, take this. Receive the gum key. It was hanging on the wall. It says gum on it. There's gotta be some connection. I'm depending on you, young man. I won't let you down, mysterious dude trapped in a... Trapped in a shell. I don't know where the hell you are. Yep. Murder, murder, murder. M -m -m murder. Is there a safe point in here? Nope, is death. Death in a life capsule. Oh, there's death pits all over here. I remember this part, I actually kind of wish I did save. Oh look, a save point. That's convenient. Let me give you a tip. If you hold the jump button while you're in while the fan blows you around, you'll fly even higher. Good to know. If I'm gonna get my first death, it, it, it might occur here. If I if I screw this up. It's the death spikes for my Yeah. Alright, this won't be as hard as I thought. No! Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Should not have said that. But no matter. With the save point right there. Pretty much no startup time. So don't jump by accident when you're standing up there, kids. It'll cause you to become impaled and explode. What? Oh, could I... No, I still can't get into that door from here. Not from this angle. Away, frog. I renounce you. Ah! Alright, let's try this again. That were really nice to put that save point there. That would have been unfortunate otherwise. Aw, oh, at least I didn't die. Hit! Gotta time this just right, I guess. Hit! Alright, one more time. Alright. Use the gum key. Alright, I'm able to pick up the gum key with absolutely no interference from anyone. Or the gum base, rather. Sweet. Now let's go get to that... Oh. Oh? That's what I just said. We meet again. Do you remember me? Indeed, in the Mumiga village. I hadn't noticed before, but... Aren't you a soldier from the surface? I wasn't aware there were any left. Oh, God. Misery! Watch out, that one's a fighter! Stronger than the Mimigas, even! You don't say. Ah. 
Yeah. Nah. Soldiers are your duty. Come back when this one's in pieces. Oh no. Alright, he's apparently invincible. But I can use these fans to, uh, get over him. Ah, but once his mouth is open, he's slightly less invincible. And the frogs can give you experience and, uh, life when you need it. Gotta jump a little, those fireballs weren't getting in his mouth. No matter, next time I'm gonna missile him. Ow. Not bad. I'm wasting my missiles there. Come on, make it. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Hopefully you can't hear the frantic clicking of my controller, but you probably can. Take that, Belrog! Or should I say Belfrog? As I believe he's referred to in the FAQ that I read. Alright, that was relatively painless. Let's go this way, just in case I fall in the deathbed. Huzzah! Alright, so... We got the gum base. Just need to reacquire the jellyfish juice. And then figure out where the charcoal is. Of course I already know where the charcoal is. I'm just pretending not to. That's right, nothing can stop me when I'm preceded by a bunch of fireballs. Except for death pits, they can stop me. Out of missiles. I'll have to clear it out the old-fashioned way. With a ray gun. There's actually death pits down these cliffs, too, so... Whoa, almost didn't make that. Okay. So now that that fan's there, I don't actually need to go to, uh, go through Chaco's fireplace every time. I want to get back over there. So that's nice. And I got some more missiles. Man. It's kind of easy to die right here, so be careful. It's just that there's so many enemies, the damage starts to add up. Whew, almost got me. And there we have the jellyfish juice. However, I'm not going to use this jellyfish juice for the bomb. And I will show you why in a little bit. Here's one other use for it I have first. Let's go and visit our old pal, Santa. We need some charcoal. You can take what's in my fireplace if you like. Find something in the ashes. Got the charcoal. Alright, so I obviously need to acquire the jellyfish juice again. But it'll be a little bit easier this time because I'll have full missiles. However, I'm not actually going to use the jellyfish juice I got this time for the bomb either. Because there's again one more use I have for it. 
Yeah. Out of my way. I am the bringer of death. Ha ha! All right, I will meet you guys back at the Mamiga Village. Okay, so if you remember before, there was a fireplace in the village that I said I would get back to later, so we're actually going to go back there and use the jellyfish juice on that place. I think it was in here. Yep. Yes, I do. You find something in the ashes. You got the bubbler! This is our fourth weapon. It's a... It's probably the weirdest weapon in the game, unless there was a weapon that I missed that I don't know about. Uh, it's level one is virtually useless. It's got crappy range, it's got crappy damage. But later on, it actually has, well, two uses. So I will meet you back at the Jellyfish. Alright, back in Jellyfish Central. See if I can blow up a bunch of guys and use the experience to level up the bubbler a bit. Alright, now at level 2, you actually just have to hold down the bubbler button and it gives you basically a machine gun. Still, not that useful, but, you know, conceivably could be used, unlike level 1 where it's completely useless. Really level 3 where things start to get interesting. And if you notice, I just ran out of uh, bubbler ammo, but in reality the the ammunition recharges, so you don't have to collect ammunition from it, it's just if you hold down the button too long, eventually you have to let go of the button so it recharges. As you can see, there's a counter up at the top that I actually just pointed to, but you can't see that. As you can see, it just refills by itself. So we just need to get the jellyfish juice one more time, and then we should be done with it forever. I'm down here so I don't have to go up there and get the jazz. Thank you. Alright, that's it. We have the three components for a bomb. Pow, pow, pow. Pow, 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 pow. Yeah, but even here you can see the bubbler's not that effective at all. But I'm hoping I can show level 3 of it before I end the video. I'm gonna give the bomb stuff to the robot, and then I'll end the video. Alright, here we go. Basically, the bubbles hover around you, and you can actually just hold it here, and it'll create kind of like a shield. Once the bubbles are around you for long enough, they automatically fire, but then you can also let go, and all remaining bubbles will fire at once, basically making a little cluster bomb. So it's an interesting weapon. I actually don't use it all that much, but... You know, when you're in a boss fight and things get hectic, it's it's nice. Actually, just using your save point. Don't want to use the jellyfish juice again, because then you'll have to get it yet again. Yep. But instead, just use the fan. Load on over. You bats don't concern me with my bubbler on. Ah. Ha! Ah. Death bits are bad. Alright, back to the power room. Have you found all of the materials yet? Oh. The charcoal. Oh, the jellyfish juice. Oh, even the gum base. Then let us begin.
It is finished! Got the explosive. Go on! Blow that door up! Alright. Bye forever, robot. Eventually you have any parting words for me? No. Hurry and blow that door up! Gotcha. Alright, bye forever, robot. At no point we'll ever have a use to see you again. Yep. Okay, so next next time we'll find out who in hell is trapped inside of that room, as if you didn't already know. Later.